Welcome back guys, this is Anwit here from Hacks and Geeks. Well, a few days ago, Sanigen mod said that they are actually shutting down the Sanigen mod and there will be no updates, no developments on the platform. But they also launched a new ROM named Lineage OS and they also shared the source code for several fo phones in the new Jet repository. So let's begin on how to install this latest new Lineage OS onto the OnePlus 2. For this, you'll need a custom recovery installed on your phone. If you don't know what is actually custom recovery, I actually have a video on that which I'll link down in the description along with all the other videos with and other files which I'll mention in this video. So to begin with, you need to actually download the latest uh, Lineage OS ROM file. This is not actually the official version as Lineage OS or the Cyanogen mod team hasn't been actually developing any official ROMs right now but the other developers are actually doing this one developer named DuckTuck is actually doing a daily update for Lineage OS that's based on CM14.1 or uh, the Android Nougat 7.1 and uh, I'm flashing the second build which he has made which is a uh, Lineage 14.1 2016 12 30 and that is micro g oneplus 2 dot zip and i'll place the link down for this page and just download whichever is the latest file which he has uploaded and then you can flash that using the twrp so just click on the latest version then you'll be prompted for the download click on that and download the file as i have already downloaded this i'll just cancel this and proceed on to the next one the next one is called as the open g apps project uh, which will provide the Google Apps for us. Uh, now here click on ARM64 as that's the processor uh, that OnePlus 2 is using and then you can click on Android 7.1 version and then on the variant which you want to download Micro, Nano, Pico, TV Stock and there are many the Super will be the largest size here and it will contain most of the G apps but the micro is enough for us so i have already downloaded the micro version here and i have actually kept it under the downloads folder here once it's downloaded you need to actually transfer these files onto your phone then you can jump onto your phone and then begin the flashing process once you have the oneplus 2 with you hold down the power button and turn off your phone once done again hold down the power button while also holding down the volume down key this will load you into the TWRP. I seriously recommend you to take a backup of your Android before beginning this process and then you can click on wipe and then again click on advanced swipe and select every other option other than the internal storage. Then you can swipe to format these partitions. Once done, go back to the main menu and then click on install and then navigate to the place where you have stored the lineage OS files. Now click on the lineage OS file itself and then you'll be prompted with few more options. One will be add more zip files and then you can confirm to flash it. Now click on add more zip files and select the open gapps files and then you can swipe to confirm the flash. Now this is going to take a while uh, and then you'll get an option to reboot your phone. Uh, click on that and you'll be rebooted. Now it's rebooted and the first thing I find weird is that the Cyanogen mode branding still exists on the language select screen even though this is lineage OS. Now you can begin with selecting the language you prefer and clicking on next and then selecting the Wi-Fi and configuring uh, the G apps as you would do on a new Android setup. But if you face any problem just turn off your Wi-Fi and turn off the mobile data and continue with the process and it will be good to go. I started using this OS and 
I noticed that this is pretty much similar to the CM40.1 only with few changes with the apps. There were two more apps installed, one named AFH Downloader and another was Fdroid. These are actually from the Linkage OS which will allow you to update the files. Even though these are buggy at this time, those are still usable. And other than that, I didn't notice any other bugs. It was pretty much stable version. And you can use this like the other CM40.1 versions you were using before. So thank you for watching the video guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, a like rating would be awesome. Also consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and if you wanna get notified for every other upload we do, click that notification icon below. That's been it guys, thank you, once again goodbye.